Do as you had George, right? She made us move. Well, she wants. She was trying to trying to get us to move. She changed when we had George. Like she, because the thing is, right? I'm from Dovecot, which is a rough place, right? I'm looking around the room. You're all from quite rough places. I can see that. <laughs> um, and what you'll know about being from a rough place is when you're from a rough area, it's just it's fine. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not nice when you don't live there and you walk around. And you go fucking hell, it's a bit rough around here. But when you live there, you get used to like the stabbings and the helicopters and all that. And you just keep your head down and just you're just happy because it's cheap. Do you know what I mean? It's fine. <laughs> and I, I'm from them because I've lived there all my life. Do you know what I mean? I've lived there all my life. And when I met her, I met her at a gig and I found out she lived like five streets away. And I thought, sweet, because if it doesn't work out, I can walk home. Boss. <laughs> Convenience is key for me. Um, and I got I got with her, and I was I, with her, after about eight months, we ended up moving in together. We moved. I moved into her house, and she lived like four doors. <laughs> she lived like four doors away from the house she grew up in, and her mum still lived there. And like a nan and two of her aunties live over the road, and her cousin lives there, right? And her other auntie lives in this little close. They all live in the same street. They're like fucking clampets. This family, right? <laughs> They're weird. <laughs> but like as soon as we had George, she was like, we're moving. We're moving, I want to move, I want to move. And I was like, why? She was like, I'm not bringing him up around here. And I was like, why it's sound around here? She was like, it's not. I was like, it is. And she was like, all right, dickhead. <laughs> what about this? Let's say he gets a bit older, wants to play in the street, but he can't because there's motorbikes up and down the street all day. I was like, I'll buy him a motorbike. <laughs> I can afford it, it's dead cheap round here. <laughs> she wouldn't have it, she was fucking fuming about it and she just kept fighting me. And I kept like, I kept fighting and fighting and fighting because I didn't want to move, I just didn't want to move, right? And then until one night, what, what used to happen was, after we had George, we used to send jo George, uh, 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 mum used to have him on a Wednesday night and we'd have a little date night, you know, to keep the dream alive and all that. <laughs> uh, and it was on a Wednesday night because of Orange Wednesdays, if you remember that. <laughs> that beautiful time we had in our lives. Uh, <laughs> we used to go out, we used to go to the pitches, we'd have something to eat, and we'd come back, we'd have a little bit of uh, shagging and that. Uh. <laughs> and it was boss, it was a lovely time, right? And we, we, this one night, it was, just, it was half one in the morning, going into Thursday morning, right? Lying there, we're in bed. She's falling asleep, obviously, because she was exhausted. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I heard the commotion outside, and I loved that. I'm a nosy person. And it was always happening, and I love it. She hated it because she thought, like, she she thought if I looked, it was going to draw attention to the house, and then they'd start fucking attacking us or some shit. <laughs> so she was like, "Leave it, don't look." Right, but this one night, right, I'm just stood there. I mean, sorry, I'm just lying there, right, and I just heard this fella go, "Hey, the fuck are you doing looking through my front window, lad?" Right, and I was like, "Oh." What's he doing looking through this room window? She was like, just leave it. I was like, oh, fucking misery, you <laughs> Right, but then I heard this fella go, if, so the fella go back, oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, sorry, I thought there was a party, right? And I was like, oh, we thought there was a party, Sam. But then I heard the first fella go back, what the fuck do you mean, you dickhead? It's fucking pitch black. And I was like, I'm going to have a look at this. <laughs> right? I'm not much of a shit. I was right. I, I used to do it that much that I'd instinctively knock the light off behind me as I got out of bed, right? I, I got up, I had a stool set up, I had a little shit house crack set up in my curtains. <laughs> right? It was just there already. I was like, oh. And what I saw was this, it was amazing, right? I'm on a main road there, and directly facing me is a little cold set but four hours back goes right into this little cul-de-sac there, right? And this corner house here, there's a guy going, oh, sorry lad, I thought there was a party trying to get his key in the front door, right? So, I, he's terrified, right? And there's another fella facing him going, what the fuck are you doing looking through my front window? With a full-size machete, right? <laughs> that should have been my, you're good people. <laughs> There's a few gasps and I should have been like, oh my God, love, he's got a machete. That's a dangerous weapon. Phone the police. <laughs> that wasn't my reaction. My natural reaction to that was, oh my God, he's got a machete. Love, come on, like, no, it's a proper machete. Come on, like a sword. Come on, look, it's boss. I was made up. I was, I was more excited than I should have been. I was so happy about it, right? And it wasn't just the machete that got me. What got me was round his waist. He had like a sheath. <laughs> for the machete, like a, like a belt. <laughs> Does that not fucking blow all of your minds? <laughs> like, what's he doing with that? Like, in some realm of my imagination, I can imagine having a machete for, like, gardening or something. And seeing a trespasser and going, I've got a machete in the shed there, I'll go and grab it and chasing them. But what kind of a fucking samurai? <laughs> it's just sat in dovecot at fucking half one in the morning just wearing a fucking machete. <laughs> Just in the dark, though, just in a dark house, just going to look through my window. Come on. 
I'm ready for anything here, mate. <laughs> Woo! Look for a wee win there, come on. <laughs> Fucking no parties in here, come on. <laughs> Woo! So he's riding this fella's face. He's about to kill him, right? He's about to kill this guy. This guy can't get his key in the door because he can't take his eye off the machete. It's, it's about to kick off, right? That's this corner house. See, this corner house, there's another person in the street, right? This guy, I guarantee, it's warm outside now. It's warm outside. And if you go down this particular street in Dovecot, I won't say where it is. If you go down this particular street, uh, he will be there, no top on, smoking weed. He's always there. But this is fucking October, right? <laughs> He's there, no top on, listening to Tupac, smoking weed. And you, if, if you to walk down there, you would actually, like, you'd be thinking, fucking hell, he's a bit rough. Because he looks a bit dodgy, do you know I mean? Tattoos and all that. Looks a bit dodgy. But he's actually quite a nice fella. And he's just smoking weed outside because he's got kids in the house and that. Um, <laughs> And I think that's a lesson we can all learn, not to judge people. Um, he's actually a lovely fella. Um, but he's there, right? I'll call, I, and he knows, I'll have, I won't use real names in case there's any glasses in. Um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> he knows a lot with the machete, right? And he sees him, right? And he's like, machete! Machete! What the fuck's going on, lad? Machete's fuming. He's like, this fucking nuts is looking through me front window. Got fucking kids in the house. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Good on Smokey, right? Because the Smokey sees this is escalating beyond the point, right? <laughs> Smokey goes, come on, lad. Machete, come on. Machete. Come and have a go with this joint, right? <laughs> in some like dead and brown Dalai Lama shit. <laughs> He just fucking hypnotized him. It was unbelievable, right? Machete just calmed down. So he was like, oh, just put his machete back in the sheath. <laughs> just wandered over. Start smoking this joint. Weirdo went back in his house. Whole situation was placated. I'm fuming at this point. I had a fresh brew. I had a full pack of hobnobs. <laughs> I was fucking gutted. I was like, I've got a fucking full brew here. <laughs> Then, like, I still can't explain this. I don't know why. I don't know why it happened. But this weirdo, about 45 seconds later, comes back out of his house from a position of safety. <laughs> right, walks, just walks into the middle of the street, turns around like he's doing quick draw, right? And just looks at this guy and just goes, hey, do you think you're a fucking gangster, do you? <laughs> Cause I'll fucking shoot you, lad, right? <laughs> He hadn't brought a gun out. <laughs> he hadn't brought a knife out. He hadn't brought a fucking stick out. He hadn't brought anything out to defend himself with. And I'm like, what the? I don't know whether he'd gone in the house and then the brave art was on. And he thought, fuck this. <laughs> I'm not a shit house. Freedom! And just ran out the house. I don't know what had happened, but he'd just come out with this like weird fucking sense of like, ah, bravado. And he just starts, he starts walking at the, And now the guy with the machete, he's on the back foot. He's like, fucking, is he talking to me? Smokey's going, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> And he's like looking at him, and like, the guy gets around his face, he goes, do you think you're a fucking gangster? I'll fucking burn your house down. And he's like get, throwing all these threats at him. And Machete's going, lad, just fuck off, just fuck off. And he's going, oh, what? He's going, fuck off. And he's going, oh, what? He's going, fuck off. And he's going, oh, what? And it's carried on, right? And then Machete just got pissed off. He just handed the joint back to Smokey. And he went, oh, what? And he went, yeah, oh, what? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And Machete just went, lad, I'll cut you up. <laughs> right? In the most beautiful motion I have ever seen. <laughs> A human being perform in my entire... It was fucking magical. Like, I can't do the noise it made, but it was like... <sighs> it was fucking unbelievable. Like, it had like a blue fucking like, glare off it and stuff. It was... And upon being, upon being faced with a man swinging a full-size machete at him, what this weirdo did, thinking he was Wolverine, was just put his hand up to block it. He just went and put his hand up to block it and... These two fingers just came off. <laughs> and I'm not talking off, I'm talking off. <laughs> they went fucking far away, like they flew. And I was like, oh my, I went, I, I'm like, <gasps> babe, his fingers have come off. His fingers, come on, look. Come on, I'm spitting fucking hobnob everywhere. <laughs> I, I went mental. I went mental, right? <laughs> Machete, Machete, he knew he'd gone too far. Right, the adrenaline just dropped out of him and he went, oh. 
He just put his machete back in the sheet again and fucked off down into the close, right? Smokey still stood there going. <laughs> He just, he just turned changes off and went, this got nothing to do with me, this, and just, <laughs> just fucked off back in the house. <laughs> so now you're left with this guy, he's in the street, he's on his own, he doesn't know what's going on. I don't know whether he was there, like, I don't know whether he's on a mountain of cocaine, he's in shock, but he doesn't seem to, like, realise what's happened because he's looking at his hand against the, like, against the lamppost going... <laughs> And it's gone, like, it's cut, and he's like, oh, and he's like, I don't know if he was thinking that's definitely not enough fingers, is it? <laughs> One, two, three. Unless I'm a Simpson, that's not enough fingers. <laughs> and he's looking at his hand, and then he's like, oh, and it clicked in his head, and he's like, oh, he's cut half me enough. He's cut half me enough. Someone found me an ambulance. Someone found me an ambulance. Someone found me an ambulance. And I know I should have found them an ambulance that point. <laughs> I know I should have, right? But I'm at me care and I'm like fucking, I'm laughing my head off at this point in my life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 instead of phoning an ambulance, right? I'm in Dubcot, right? Instead of phoning him, I'm on Facebook. Because <laughs> as I said, her mum lived for those, right? Her cousin and her aunties live, like, the cousin lives there, aunt, two of her aunties live in the coast, and Nan lives in the coast. We knew all the neighbours. I'm on Facebook going, have you seen this shit outside? <laughs> There's a thread with 18 comments going, yeah, his fingers are in my front garden. It was fucking <laughs> unbelievable, right? <laughs> unbelievable, though. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? But nobody phoned him an ambulance, though. Not one person's phoned him an ambulance, right? Because you don't want to get called a fucking grass and dove cot. So everyone's just like, I'm not fucking phoning anyone. <laughs> he, he managed to, like, knock his neighbour up with his little claw, didn't he? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and they come, and the ambulance comes super quick, because obviously, like, serious. The ambulance came, and it came with a police van, like a riot van, and it came, and this, this policeman gets out, and he's like, what's happened, and stuff like that. He's trying to gather, gather evidence of what's happened, and this, he's obviously in a bit of shock, and he's like, oh, he's cut off me enough, and he's looking for these fingers, right? And he's like, oh, he doesn't know what to do, and he's like, looking around, he's the shining of torch, can't see, fuck all. Next minute, another van turns up with a dog. Right? <laughs> Sniff a dog to try and find, because the ambulance fella's gone, we need to sew these fingers back on, it's times of the essence kind of thing. So this sniffer dog stick, but what had happened was, right, it, it hadn't just cut, cut his fingers out, it gone right through his hand there, right? Like, cut, like straight up, right? <laughs> so I, I don't know if you've, like, you, you, you know, med I, I, I don't know, like, you, if anyone's got any kind of medical background, you will know, right? I, if you've ever seen an injury like this, it, it doesn't bleed like a normal cut. It's got like a weird arterial spray. Like it goes with your heart, it's like tss, tss, it's fucking weird to watch, right? But when he'd been going, he's cut half my hand off, he's cut half my hand off. <laughs> he'd made like a blood spider graph on the floor. <laughs> right? And this poor dog just went <laughs> <laughs> and just starts walking around in circles, right? And the policeman's going, oh, fucking hell, you give me a dick idea. <laughs> and I am fucking laughing my head off. I I'm going, are you getting warmer? <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So bad. She's still in bed, the miserable bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> so like it, it comes right, like the policeman's stuck. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do at all. So that he, he's only left with one option. He's got to knock door to door. He doesn't want to do that because where he is. But he has got to do it. So he starts knocking door to door. I'm like the fourth house down on the block. He starts. And he starts knocking. I'm like fucking. It's gonna knock here in a minute. Better to <laughs> I better close my curtains and that. <laughs> But my missus like, what's he doing? I went, he's, he's knocking door to door. She was like, go and tell him where the fingers are. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> she went, go on, it's fucking hard. The lad's gonna lose his fingers. I was like, it is a bit hard, like. <laughs> um, so he knocked and I went down, right? I went down to him. And it's a lovely fact. I've actually sp ever spoken to a policeman in an official capacity before. I've spoken to them at gigs, took the piss out of them and stuff like that. Never spoken to one in an official capacity. <laughs> but Sky, he knocks on my door. I answered and he was like, excuse me, sir. I'm really sorry to disturb you at such a late hour, but there was a bit of a disturbance in the street about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Don't know if you saw or heard anything that could help with the investigation. And I was like, about to tell him. I thought, yeah, 
that's the lad needs his fingers. I was about to say, yeah, I saw it, mate. I don't know what happened, but he was looking through his front window. I thought there was a party. I don't know how, because it was pitch black, but he was like, <laughs> I thought there was a party. He was like, oh, he was like, he was fuming about it. And he had a full size machete. And I was like, fucking hell, he's got a full size machete. But he had the sheet for it. I don't know why. Like, why the fuck would you have that? And then he fucking, it all got calmed down. Then when I got smoky, I was like, oh, it all got calmed down. But then he come back out of his house. He's like, do you think you're a fucking gangster? He didn't have a gun, didn't have a knife, didn't have a fucking stick. I don't know why he came back out of his house. I don't know whether he seen the end of Brave Art or something. <laughs> I was about to, and then he got round his face, and he was like, wah, wah. <laughs> his fingers are in that front garden over there. I'm about to say all that. And some scally, like, dove caught switch just turned in the back of my head. Something I didn't ever, I never knew was there. Something just switched in the back of my head, and I just went, didn't see fuck all me. <laughs> didn't see nothing. And he's looking at me going, are you sure? And I'm like, no, I didn't see fuck all, mate. And he's like, are you sure? Oh, yeah, I yeah, didn't see nothing. And he's clearly looking at me going, it's gone two o'clock in the morning. You look wired. <laughs> You've got hobnob all around your mouth. <laughs> You've definitely watched this. And I was like, didn't see nothing, mate. Shut the door, went back upstairs. And my missus like, did you tell him where the fingers were? I went, no. She went, why? And I went, I don't know. She went, you're a dickhead, you. I went, no. <laughs> And she was like, oh, she rolled over and she went to go to sleep. And then I was about to go to sleep myself. And then I just, I thought, oh, God, I got that a horrible thought. And I sat up in bed for two hours just worrying about this because I thought, oh, what if the police check me Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified. 